we must define a common good. We must define that common good because there's no executive order, there's no law that can require the American people to form a national community. If you want to see it happen, you must do it. So that's what I did. I got together with Bloomberg, I got together with Data for Democracy and some of my favorite friends, and I said, what keeps you up at night? As you're building tools, as you're building algorithms, and as you're developing solutions, what keeps you up at night? We asked about 2,000 data scientists and broke it down to these three things. We want to know that we're actually facilitating data sharing. And we want to know that the data is being used and used appropriately. We want to ensure compliance, and we want to understand and ascertain the validity of results. I don't think it's a shock to anyone here that that is the things that are of greatest concern when it comes to responsible data use. So we, create, so we launched an initiative called the Community Driven Principles for Ethical Data Sharing. And we, and we launched this in September of 20. Uh, 17 last year at the, new, at the Data for Good Exchange in New York. We, not, we announced it, we held a breakout, we came together and we said, these are the seven key areas that need to be addressed in order to define the values and priorities of ethical behavior for data scientists. These areas should not be a surprise either. Data ownership and provenance, privacy and security, transparency and openness thought diversity and responsible communications so that we can actually get to this period of productivity versus these inflated expectations of what data can actually do. And we took a community first approach. About a hundred, a little bit over a hundred plus data scientists across the private sector, nonprofits, academia, public sector came together on their own time, did literature reviews, and defined a set of principles for each of those seven categories. And then we came together again in February, a couple weeks ago in San Francisco, and held an event again, where we did it again and started to, and defined another set of principles. We did this by data scientists for data scientists. And the intention is not that this code of ethics becomes something that everybody has to be beholden to, and you should be punished if it never, if you do not comply. It's actually just a means of communicating what's important and what's of value when using data. And so that's what we did, and it's a living document. And so what happens next? Oh, we voted also. So what happens next? We want signatures. We need to know that the principles that are laid out, datapractices.org, we want to know that the principles that have been defined by this community are actually of meaning and value to this community. And you do that by signing up. If you sign and say that it's important to you, then that becomes the collective voice of the community and can be used to do things like define curriculum and training for a future data scientist, can be used to find tools to be able to answer questions like, how do I know that, the, that bias has been mitigated in my algorithm? How do I know that my data set is not restricted? And then we use it to build partnerships with people that are interested in advancing and building the capacity for ethical and responsible data use across the community. It starts a conversation, but it starts first with data scientists, the people that are responsible for doing this, being able to communicate what your values and principles are in this space, and then continuing that conversation to do so.